what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel real sports updates here back again with another video feels so good to be back definitely feels good to be back health issues under control um so we're gonna get rolling here it's july training camp is coming up very very soon um there are a lot of stories brewing right now but um you know for right now i want to focus on what I think is the biggest mistake that the Chargers made in uh, free agency, right? And they didn't make too many of them, right? Um, if any at all, right? But this is the biggest mistake I felt that they made, right? And you see the thumbnail, right? You see the title. If you were a Charger fan, if you watched, you know, any of the games, you didn't even have to watch every game. If you watched half of the games, you knew that number 44, Kaiser White, was a beast. And you knew that he was making plays against every single team, right? It didn't matter what... You know, offensive scheme they were running, right? Run heavy teams, pass heavy teams. He was making plays. He was always around the ball, making plays. Um, and he deserved, uh, you know, a contract matching offer that the Chargers, um, you know, should have matched him with, right? He obviously signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. He only signed a one-year contract for $5 million, right? And in the grand scheme of things, that's not that much money. You know, the Chargers still have that cap space as of right now. Um, you know, they could have matched the contract, but... You know, for reasons they didn't, you know, we don't know, right? We're not in the front office. You know, we, we, we can, uh, you know, we can criticize from afar. You know, we can look at numbers. We can just look at everything. These these guys in the front office, they know the players better than we do, right? And, you know, they have information um, that we don't. So I can criticize all day long, right? They feel like they made the right decision. And, you know, I guess I can respect that. But, you know, the main thing is that, the Chargers have to step up at linebacker this year. They took care of every other um, defensive position, you know, pretty much. The defense is strong, um, but the weakness is the linebacking core. And, you know, I like Drew Tranquil. Um, I think Troy Reader is a good, you know, I think he's good. He's not great. Um, and Kenneth Murray is still a question mark. He's, he's a really big question mark. This is year three for him. This is a pivotal year for him in his career. Um, you know, and with the defensive improvements around him, you know, hopefully he can get it together and become, you know, a really, really good linebacker. But, you know, the jury is still out on him, right? The jury was not out on Kaiser White, though. Kaiser White was, like I said, he was a beast, guys. And, you know, the Chargers pretty much replaced him with uh, Troy Reader. And, again, I like Troy Reader. Um, you know, he was, he was pretty good for the Rams defense. You know, I seen him you know pop up on my screen you know several times and stuff but he's not kaiser white um he's not kaiser white from the athletic um perspective and he was not kaiser white from the production you know perspective as well too so i'm gonna get into it for a little bit so kaiser white now i like pff i like pro football focus um they are not 100 percent though i don't believe that they were 100 percent accurate i you know, for them to grade every player who plays a certain amount of snaps is, um, it's a really, really big task. So I wouldn't be surprised if they skip games, right? Or if they, you know, maybe fast forward some tape or whatever, or, you know, they don't see, you know, plays being made by everybody, right? And I think Kaiser White is a guy who falls under that, right? They could have fast forwarded his tape, whatever. His, his PFF, and this is based off of last year, was 66, right? 66 is in the the category of i believe it is like lock solid or something like that um he was much much better than that much much better than that so i'm gonna go over kaiser white's stats right and you tell me if the chargers should have matched right if they you know could have pulled in another four million you know out of the account and matched this contract right so kaiser white last year solo tackles 107 solo tackles that ranked eighth in the league among amongst linebackers assisted tackles he had 38 that ranked 10th in the league amongst linebackers. Interception, interceptions, he had two. That ranked 5th among linebackers. And forced fumbles, he had two. That ranked 5th among linebackers as well, inside linebackers. Now, the thing that Pro Football Focus didn't really take into account and they really didn't give him credit for was his pass defense. His He is one of the best pass defending linebackers in the league. He's up there with Levante David. He's up there with Devin White. We've seen what they did in the Super Bowl to the Chiefs. He's up there with him, with, with with those guys. He is very, very good, and he is very um, smart, and he is very adept at, at covering, right? He's covering uh, uh, running backs out of the backfield. He covers tight ends. He really has a good uh, first step, right? He gets a jump on the ball. He breaks up a lot of balls um, as well, too. 
and that's what PFF didn't really give him credit for. This guy was amazing in pass coverage, and the Eagles are getting one of the best, you know, pass covering linebackers in the league. Um, and you know, they replaced him with Troy Reader, and I'm gonna get into Troy Reader's stats, right? And I'm not hating on him at all. You know, I hope he has a really good season. I hope he has a really successful season. But this is what the Chargers replaced him with, right? So Troy Reader had a uh, 46.7 uh, PFF score, right? So that is in the replaceable category, right? Um, and I don't think anybody's going to argue that. So solo tackles, he had 51. That ranked uh, 59th in uh, the league amongst inside linebackers. Um, assisted tackles, he had 42, right? So you give him credit for that. That that ranked uh, fifth among linebackers. Um, interceptions, he had two as well. So that ranked fifth among uh, linebackers, tied with Kaiser White. Um, but he had zero force fumbles. Um and his pass coverage is just not at the level that Kaiser White is. And, you know, if if he does play a lot this season, if he's on the field a lot, if he is, um, you know, not a guy who is just a, you know, a, a third down linebacker or if, you know, Murray gets hurt again or something like that, you know, I think people are going to see the, the lack of pass coverage that we lost in Kaiser White because, Troy Reader can't do it like Kaiser White can. And, you know, there are a few linebackers that can, right? We know Kaiser White. We knew that he was adept at pass coverage, right? He came out of West Virginia as a safety. The Chargers drafted him as a safety, converted him to linebacker. Um, and it was, you know, a great move. He has a nose for the ball, but he's still able, you know, to read routes. And I think that's probably one of his strongest suits is, it, you know, it, it's clearly a tape study. A, a guy who is, you know always around the ball right when, when when the ball goes in the air he's always around the guy who's catching the ball this is that's clearly clearly steady you know he's a guy he knows he knows how to study and he clearly knows how to break down film and I think that's something that's invaluable right and that that doesn't really get talked about right in the media or whatever but when you see a guy always around the guy catching the ball he knows what the offense is trying to do he knows you know a good portion of their playbook he is very smart when it comes to that and I think losing that is just going to be, you know, I don't think it's going to be too detrimental, you know, with all the talent on the defense, but I would love to see Kaiser White in this defense, right? We've talked ad nauseum about how the Chargers have really, really improved their defense, right? From front to back and all this stuff. Kaiser White would be all pro in this defense. Nobody can convince me otherwise, right? You got 107 solo tackles last year, right? With the, 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 the poorest and the terrible, uh, the run defense, right? He's doing all of this with the, with the terrible run defense. Those holes are going to be, you know, closed up this year, right? Sebastian Joseph Day, Austin Johnson, those holes are going to get closed up. These guys are going to be two gapping and the linebackers, you know, they just have to take one step in and fire and be able to tackle, right? And they're going to have a lot of opportunities, you know, for force fumble to be able to, to dislodge the ball from guys. Kaiser White would strive in this, right? And not only would he strive as a, a, a run stopper, he would strive as a blitzer and he would strive as you know a guy who obviously can defend the pass so you know I think the Chargers like I said it's easy for me to sit here and say that they made a mistake right but again they know more than I do but you know just looking at it just looking at the numbers looking at the contract numbers right I believe uh Tro did Troy Reader sign for like one year two million or something like two two million three million I can't remember what it was um but, you know, to pull just, just pull a little bit more out for Kaiser White, for a guy who you know is going to ball, um, and no matter what defense he's in, right? And he has he's a guy that has gotten better every single year that he's been in the league, right? Um, I remember when they drafted him, and I remember when they uh, said they were converting him to linebacker, and I was kind of like iffy, like, uh, you know, do, do safeties really want to come down and, you know, hit people every play, right? There are some safeties who can and who want to, right? But... For the most part, you know, a lot of safeties like to patrol the middle of the field, get interceptions, whatever, you know, pick sixes and all that stuff. Kaiser White stepped in, you know, from day one and he started hitting like he was hitting people. Um, you know, I remember in the, the old stadium in, in Carson, he was hitting guys, right? You can throw on the tape. He was hitting. And, you know, this guy clearly is a linebacker. He has a linebacker's mentality. He comes up and he is aggressive um, and he gets guys to the ground. He gets forwards fumbles. You know, he's great in coverage. He does everything you want as a linebacker, right? And he's athletic, right? The only downside with Kaiser White is that he doesn't weigh, um, you know, he's not at the typical weight what a linebacker is, right? I think he's like, he plays really light. He looks like he's maybe 220, if that. I don't know what they have him listed at. Probably like 220, 218 or something like that. But that's really the only downside. But if you play as fast as him, you don't need to weigh a lot, right? Because he is going to, he can go past linemen, right? If he's blitzing, 
obviously he can stay with running backs you know when they're coming out of the backfield for their routes um you know he he doesn't need to be the biggest guy out there and you know so far in his career he's shown that he doesn't need to be the biggest guy because he has athleticism instinct and you know he is a a tape guy so he you know obviously is there and he makes plays so again just 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 for for me right if if i was tom telesco right and i knew that the 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 eagles were you know came to the table and said uh you know here's one year for five million i would have said okay we're going to match right because i don't know and you know i've never been in the nfl but it seems like quite a hassle to be in la right in orange county where the chargers are based at um and move all the way to you know pennsylvania right even if he's from the east coast or whatever right he's i don't know if he has a family a wife or whatever but it seems like a a a big task to move and you know just pack up and go down to the east coast and if he does have a family does he did he take his family with him if he has children um is he going to take his children is he going to move them into a new school over there um or is his family going to stay in the la orange county area and if they do then you know that means he's not going to see them all the time or whatever right so it's just such a it seems like it's a hassle to go and move all the way over there if you have a matching offer from the chargers right and i'm saying if he had a matching offer i don't know if the chargers even offered him but if you had a matching offer from the chargers one year five million one year five million it seems like you know much more of a economical thing to do to stay where you're at right especially for a guy like Kaiser White, right? I, I think he's really talented, but he is not a big name, right? I can go in the mall and say, hey, who's Kaiser White? Nobody would know who he is, right? So he's a guy, he's not he's not the face of a franchise or anything like that. He's no Ray Lewis. Um, and, you know, he plays a physical position, right? So it would make sense to stay where you're at, right? Collect your money, continue to collect your money, um, save your money up, right? And avoid the expenses of moving, you know, finding a, a, a house, out in the east coast or whatever just it just seems like a a very very um unnecessary task if you had a matching offer from the chargers and you know it seems that he he didn't so you know he took the best offer that was on the table and you know congratulations for him you know i hope that he continues to ball out um you know maybe he would want to come back home one day you know he's only on a one-year deal so we'll see what happens with the eagles but um i just think that it was a you know a little bit of a slip up to let him go um especially you know if the money was in the same ballpark which it was right one to five million is in the same ballpark so um the chargers will miss him but like i said hopefully kenneth murray um hopefully drew tranquil and hopefully troy reader hopefully they have a strong season at linebacker they're gonna have a lot of opportunities to make a lot of plays um you know especially up front you know in the run game they're gonna have a bunch of opportunities so i'm looking forward to see seeing how they fare this year um you know and hopefully they have a a strong healthy season for uh the chargers because that would um you know just make the team even more lethal um and you know make the chargers even more of a super bowl contender right if you have all three phases on defense figured out and you got guys back there who can all make plays and who all you know pretty much play at a a pro bowl level then you know you're gonna have a, a a pretty damn good season so you know but that's all i got for this one guys um i want to thank you guys for the support um thank you so much i will be back again tomorrow with another video um again we're getting close to training camp so i'm going to start to ramp up my videos again i'm going to start you know trying to publish every single day again health issues behind me now thank god so um i am up for the task i'm going to be covering training camp very very hard um like I said in a previous video, I will try to um, go out there um, currently making plans right now to, you know, have some media access and, and, and things like that. So we'll see how that plays out. You know, we still almost got, what, 20 days, 22, 23 days, whatever it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's all I got for this one, guys. Thank you guys for the support so much. And until next time.